And now, here's the latest news. Did you read the new study about cancer treatments and return on investment? The World Health Organization says that sales revenue for cancer treatments is around $14.50 for every $1 invested in research and development. If you think that figure sounds off, you'd be right. It's way off. The WHO study got a lot of coverage in the news. It's been used to advocate that the price of cancer treatments is excessive. But does this claim stand up to scrutiny? Let's take a closer look. New analysis from the Center for Medical Economics and Innovation at the Pacific Research Institute shows that the WHO study is biased. And it significantly overstates their claim by as much as 350 percent. The WHO study ignores two key facts. First, it only looked at 63% of the FDA-approved cancer drugs. It ignored 37% of the cancer treatments out there. Now, if you factor in all of the treatments in the calculation, you'll get a much lower and honest figure. Second, it studied the issue from 1989 to 2017, but it didn't adjust the value of the money for the present day. That's something you learn in Economics 101 in high school. Always use the present value of money when making a comparison. That totally distorted sales revenue by a lot. In fact, take them together and the figure could be off by as much as 350%. In other words, sales revenue is about $3.16 for every dollar invested in R&D. Why is this so important? When misinformation and biased reports make the news, that's used to promote some pretty bad ideas. Things like price controls and policies that will bring us even closer to a 100% government takeover of our health care. This would lead to less innovation and reduced access to life-saving treatments. Americans take for granted the access we have to cutting-edge treatments and medications. If government sets a price ceiling on cancer treatments, you will see shortages. In other words, you may not have access to the latest cancer treatments. Developing new cures is also very expensive, with more uncertainty whether their drugs will be available and less potential for their return on investment, life sciences companies will be less likely to invest in developing new treatments. The potential cure for cancer may not be realized under price controls and a government health care takeover. So the next time you see inflated figures like this reported in the news, arm yourself with the facts. Visit PRI's Center for Medical Economics and Innovation. Read our easy-to-understand reports and charts to learn how free market policies pave the way for more innovation in cancer treatments and more cutting-edge drugs that save lives. To learn more and read the new issue brief, visit medecon.org.